Well, good morning, everyone. This is Justin here. And uh, this morning, I wanna ask you a question. And it is this, in what areas of your life could you use some wisdom? And not just wisdom from other people, but wisdom from God. I learned recently this great lesson um, about asking for advice and wisdom from people. And typically we take advice and wisdom from our friends or family. Um, but someone said, hey, why don't, you, why don't you search out people who have done what you want uh, and ask them for wisdom? How did they get to where they are? And why don't you learn lessons from them? Now, again, wisdom from family and friends is great, um, but what's even better is to gain wisdom from people who have a perspective uh, that that's where you want to go. And this is the great thing about God. His perspective is eternal. His perspective is the best. His perspective is greater than, than anyone. And what we all want as Christians is to grow in our relationship with him. And so we need his wisdom. And, and I don't know if you're like me, but life uh, sometimes is chaotic and sometimes goes on paths that we don't expect. And I know just recently in my life, um, I've been through a season of, of what seemed to be more chaos, um, a, a lot going on, I'm pulled in a lot of different directions and really trying to seek wisdom from, from God. This is what God wants for us is to, for, for him to give us the peace and comfort that only comes through him. This is why James, uh, who is uh, the half-brother of Jesus, um, who writes uh, the, the, what we call the New Testament wisdom literature, he's really reflecting on the Sermon on the Mount, and he's reflecting on Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, and you can hear all this resonating within James. Um, he says this towards the beginning of the letter, he says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. A lot of, a lot of cool stuff here, but first, the biblical word for wisdom is chokmah. Chokmah. Maybe just say that out loud. Wherever you are, chokma. You gotta when you talk Hebrew, you gotta have a little bit of phlegm going on, right? It's morning, have some milk. Chokma. <laughs> and all that really means is listening to the voice of God, actually listening and then doing of what God wants us to do. Listening and doing. There's actually no Hebrew word for obey. There's just a word for to hear. And because the idea is if you really hear, you're going to obey. And so if we need a word from God, then let's ask for it. And what we have in scripture is a whole library of, of God's words for us that's full of wisdom and how to live life. God has the resources that we need and he can, he can give us insight into what to do. But we gotta, we gotta be people of faith. We gotta be people of faith. He says, if, if you don't have faith, you're just driven and tossed by the, by the wind. I was on a cruise recently with my family. And if you look off the cruise and you see the waves just rip, like going up and down, and they look kind of small from the top of the boat, but you know, if you go down there, you would just be, you would just be like pushed back and forth and, uh, and drown in that pressure of the waves. That's the description that James has given to us if we don't live by faith. So for all of us today, there are areas of all of our lives that we need help. And if we want the best help, we want to ask the, the person with the best perspective, who's been there, done that, who can help us the most, and, and that's God. And guess what? No matter, no matter what, God loves you more than you could imagine. He wants the best for you, and he's got the best advice and wisdom for you. So so let's pray for wisdom today from God, Lord. We just ask that you can just pour down your wisdom into our lives. Help us to see the areas that we need to improve. Help us to make good choices. Help us to learn from your word. Help us be lights in this world and fill us with the peace that can only come through you. In Jesus' name, amen.